When people talk about resonance, they have an idea of similarity. If you say something resonates with me, you feel some sort of connection to the thing you're discussing. The idea of resonance in acoustics is very similar. Acoustic scientists talk about the resonance of materials, and by that they mean that identical materials of the same dimensions and the same mass and the same materials will vibrate if struck at the same frequency. You can see that in these resonance bars, identical bars made of aluminum, and if you strike one, the, the bars are so similar that the sound vibrations from the first will actually activate the second. But there's another kind of resonance in acoustics, and that is related to the reflection of sound. As early researchers studied the acoustics of buildings, they found strange dead zones. In other areas, sounds were strangely amplified or changed in strange ways. The middle of the 19th century, they had realized that this is an effect of resonance, a, a particular case of the reflection of sound. And you can see that in the instruments before me, where I have a regular tuning fork, just all by itself, and I have an almost identical tuning fork on a resonator box. The box is specially constructed to amplify and extend the sound of the fork. As the mathematical understanding of acoustics grew in the 19th century, the German physicist Hermann Helmholtz was able to design a particular kind of resonator called the Helmholtz resonator that was actually inserted into the ear and turned the observer into a scientific instrument. When the observer heard the tone that the resonator was designed to detect, the effect was immediate and unmistakable. This kind of technology was largely replaced by the development of electroacoustics in the early 20th century. But the fact that these instruments survive and still work as they were when they were brand new is a testament both to the skill of the craftsmen who made them, but also an indication of the importance that these phenomenon had in the 19th and early 20th century.